One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I got here for you today is a horse trailer, a 1989 Dakota. And this is a nice horse trailer. It's a three horse, um, truck don't come with it. You're gonna have to pay a lot extra for that. We're just selling the trailer for now. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and do a once around. And when we're done with the once around, we'll start showing you stuff up close around and all that good stuff. Test drive? Don't know that we're gonna have a test drive. Thing rolls down the road just nice as can be. Ain't no issues with it. Seems like a really good trailer. Um, but I will go around. It's got my Montana demo dealer plate on it. Um, it is a California vehicle that I picked up here. Trailer. And that's the deal. That's your once around. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, that's that. You can call me, Nathan, for, you know what, on this one, call Fred, 406-360-3613. No, that's not his number. It's 406-360-0160. And other than that, I'm gonna start showing you some flaws. There's some scuffs on this window or something, or this piece here. I don't think it's a window. And this one's not scuffed up like that, but that is. Really nice along the seams and stuff along the front here. Um, corrosion around these seams, the welds right there and right in there. Just mostly when it gets under the paint. You can see there, you can chip off that top layer of paint. And that's all it is for the most part. Uh, same thing here. Right along that seam, just the paint came right off, man and that water got behind it and that's what you got. It's not all rusted through and hanging off or nothing like that. Um, just a little corrosive underneath the paint. You can hear it there. Um, so that's that. Straight trailer, um, little cracks along here. I don't know if that was kinda the way they did it before they painted it or what. Um, I know it's a straight, nice trailer, chipped up in little places everywhere alongside of it. It's not beautiful um, as far as up close and personal, but it is a nice looking slick trailer. Beautiful trailer, but when you get up close, I don't want to say that this stuff is beautiful. Man, I just grind it all down and throw a coat of paint on it. Um, little dingy scuff right there. A little color around the top, but it's not all rusted or nothing. Um, very good condition water jug holder, hat holder. I don't know what you want to hold with this. You can hold just about anything. Um, these here I don't have a key for, but they open up to where your horse head can come out or something, I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna climb up on this wheel well here. Show you the top. I'll show you from the inside. We got a little spot there, right along the seam. And a little spot right up there along the seam. And it's where these run these straps over and the straps go over and there's a screw there and that's where the water gets under that part of it on them. Same thing on a motorhome that I had just a while back. Get this thing open here. Nice, nice. And very easy to operate. I've got the gates open or close. They slide in and out pretty easily. Could use some greasing. Um, then you lock them in over here if you want. And that takes care of that. Now this here has a little screw that's broke off. So you'd have to reattach that and the little half screws are the pop rivets they were pop riveted in huh no wonder so I guess you'd have to screw that in or something if you wanted this on there um, probably pretty nice if you get bounced up against it or something lights on it all run with your trailer lights and such from the inside you can see here where it's starting to leak through a little bit the guy needs to take this and break it all off and Skims coat some fiberglass. It's mainly paint that's coming off. But right along that seam. And then it gets under that paint. And that's it. Under that. 
Nice strong metal. Same thing here. It's just that top layer of paint. And um, there you go. In fact, nice and solid. Um, just all that paint. So that's that. That's your inside of it. Um, it's in good shape. Board's a little kicked up over there probably or something. Um, I think there's probably another mat in here, I'll bet. Matt, was there another mat in here? Um, and that, I'll get it closed up. Come on now. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Um, oh, this side. Door opens from the outside. Extra tie downs and stuff. Strap them horses in, boy. And I wish I'd had the time to grind that a little bit and get it fixed. Very, very easy fix. All these uh, handles could use a little. I put some lithium grease on it. It'll take a little time to soak in, I'm sure. We'll use a little finesse. There you go. A uh, little aluminum strap across the bottom there. Hitch and everything. It's got the collar on it. Very good setup. Nice and clean. Um, oh, I just stuck this in here. That's your hookup you've got. Anything else you'd have to wire in. I just came from right there, so we didn't have to go that far. Okay, that's pretty much your horse trail. I'm going to show you the tack room real quick. Um, got the little hanger there to hang the door on if you wish. And it's got the locking handle where you can lock your saddles and such in here. You know, like catch it or whatever. I didn't really hook it in there. Pocahontas Premium. And not as bad as the back ones, but it's starting a little bit. It's right around them seams, and a guy just needs to take a grinder to it, a little bit of fiberglass skim on it, prime it up, and squirt it down. Get everything right at the local Walmart. Get that windmill in there, that's nice. Skylight, saddle hangers. <clears throat> well, that's your Dakota horse trailer, great brand of trailer. Yeah, you can't even tell from the inside. It's like some kind of milky glass or something. Milky glass, huh? That light's missing the cover in a bowl. Um, and that's that. I knew I didn't hook that in there. Don't have a key for the door, so if you want one, you're gonna have to get one made or put a new handle in. Um, it's not all dinged up, it's pretty straight. Um, don't wanna say it's perfect, it's a working trailer. Um, it's in great shape. I'll show you the data plate on it and give you a view down the sides. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. You can go on there and you can see pictures of this here trailer. Um, I know it's on a car. This might be a little dinged up or something. You can't really tell, but just a little, see how it's a little wavy in there? Little scuffs along the side here and there. Nothing too serious anywhere. BeaglesPocket.com for all your miniature beagles. Um, awesome dogs. You need one of them to go with this trailer. In fact, I'll make you a deal. A little bit of bins in these as they get sometimes. And I'm trying to think of anything else to show you. Trailers are not the main thing I do, so I didn't do many trailers, so I'm just kind of going through it all in my head. Tires are in good shape. I wanted to show you that. Oh, there we go. That's something to talk about. Hang on now. Tires are great shape. Um, they are 715 LTs, and man, it looks like the guy just put them on there. A um, little bit of dry rot going around the edges here of this one. I got a spare that goes with it. I didn't bring it up here with it. This one's in great shape. Um, I'll show you the other ones on the other side, too. Um, this line has little dings along the side here. I'm not going to go over every little single one. You can kind of see for yourself, but it's a darn straight trailer. But... There's a bunch of little dings on that one. So, that's your tires. Show you the ones on the other side. 
tell you to go to graycongo.com and check out my new Amazon Parrot. These tires, in, they're all in pretty good shape. See, these two front two have some dry rot though. Right, just you can barely see it in there though. Just wanna be as upfront as I can, but man, they got tread on them like no, no tomorrow. I got an extra spare and one of the aluminum wheels is missing and I got this white one, you can see they don't match there, to fill in. That's the deal. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And you can call Fred, 406 360 0160. Check out my website. Anything else on there, you can call me, Nathan, 406 544 6919. And like I say, beaglespocket.com. If you want to make a bunch of money, stockgambles.com. Other than that, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You got any questions on this here trailer, feel free to give me a call anytime, and I'd be more than glad to help you out. Um, that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Nathan, oneownercarguy.com. We'll see ya.